Hello everybody, Andrew Bermudez with Digzy AI. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Digzy AI, in case you didn't know, and there's a link at the bottom in case you wanna check out the best software that makes life easy for you to find and generate sale opportunities. It integrates with your email, it integrates with your calendar, makes it really easy for you to import contacts, makes it really easy to track all your metrics and all that, and if you're a sales leader, CRM compliance is a thing of the past. Anyway, that was enough of a pitch to give you right now since we give you so much free content. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to talk about today what the easiest way it is to actually nurture leads. And I had talked in the episode that's linked below, which was our previous episode, on the fact that the Mangen had actually figured out that uh, nurtured leads increase sales by 20%. So what today I wanna to talk about is, okay, how do you execute that? Because your database might be loaded with 100 contacts, maybe 1,000 contacts, the likelihood you're gonna be able to follow up at that scale is pretty damn low. However, that's something that at Digsy we know is a struggle, but we also know that if you contact a prospect once, you only have a 2% chance of booking a meeting or generating a sale. And even if you go all the way up to three contacts, it only goes up to 5%, that's only three points. Where you actually see start being lifts is when you contact that prospect the fourth time that goes up to 10%, but if you go five or 12 contacts, it increases to 80%. So that's pretty magical stuff. And it's the biggest cheat because a lot of salespeople just don't follow up at that key. That should not be you. And guess what? It doesn't have to be you. You can actually use a lot of technology. So I'm gonna use, show you two things. I'm going to show you how to be able to quickly follow up with somebody if you use Outlook. It doesn't work on Gmail, but you can actually use third-party tools to create templates, but Outlook is free. So I'm gonna show you in a minute how to do that. I'm also gonna show you how you can actually follow up with tons of prospects with Digsy AI, uh, with email templates, and you can actually see them in your sent items. So let's go. All right, everybody, if you can see my screen right here, how do we do follow-ups? This is Digsy AI, if you haven't seen it before. So we have our inbox, it's where all new contacts, whether I take a picture of a business card and then gets transcribed and automatically added in here. Here are the people that I'm attempted. These are the people that I've reached out to that I either left voicemails or sent emails that haven't responded and nurturing are people that have responded to me and have told me that they have an interest in my service. So now I'm nurturing these potential individuals uh, to be able to book an appointment and then either we make offers, contracts or RFPs and then once we get that signed, we can move them into active deal and then from active deal we can put them into our CRM. So what we're going to talk about right now is we're going to talk about how to make follow-ups very, very quickly. And Dixie does this very well. For example, I've got my buddy Nick right here and I want to, I just actually went and talked to Nick and I can actually just set a follow-up as easy as this. That's what I can do. I don't have to go and click through multiple screens. Just makes it really easy and efficient. I can tag Nick. Let's say he's a referral source for me. I can add multiple tags and I'll just say cool dude. I can do that there. So let me try that again. And I can do that. And then all of my email communication with Nick can actually uh, be sourced here at the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, take that out there, but I don't actually have to click on Nick's profile. What I can do is I can schedule a follow-up with Nick and I can say, I called Nick and I left him a voicemail and he's attempted, but I want to follow up later today. So I'm going to say voicemail and I'll just go left voicemail and I can set up a follow up for later today this way. So in the morning that all my follow ups are due, uh, what ends up happening is Dixie AI sends me an email and I can see all of my follow ups due for today. And what I can do is I can quickly just, and I can do this on my smartphone too, by the way. So if I click on Bo um, Barron, for example, the system will show me this on the desktop, do today. I can actually quickly, this is what it shows up like in my smartphone. And what I'm able to do is quickly just go here and I can create as many email templates and I can send uh, templates that are, you know, modify them and set them as defaults for follow-ups and initial contact. So I can actually just say, you know what, I'm gonna do a casual follow-up and I can just say, hey Bo, long time, hey Bo, are you out of town? I'm gonna to say, are you out of town right here? So that's as easy as that. So I just actually emailed uh, Bo and I'm able to, uh, I can actually quickly add an email like I showed you a minute ago, follow up with all these individuals. And usually what I do is I follow up with them in the morning. 
But what I can also do is I can also go and go to my follow-ups and I can quickly follow up with multiple people. So for example, I can follow up with, uh, with Ian, I can follow up with that, and if I need to reschedule, I can reschedule very, very easily this way. So I can actually just follow up with these individuals here, and I can actually just say casual follow-up, and just say, okay, great chatting with you, great chatting with you, look forward to connecting again soon, and send that email. And I can do that for everybody else and then just click very, very quickly and send a follow-up here and do the same. So I'm not going to hit all my follow-ups, but you kind of get the gist. And then if I want to call them, I can call them right away. That's not a problem. And I can quickly follow up with my 16 follow-ups in about, you know, I can do, if I'm just emailing, I can follow up with about 12, a dozen prospects in under a minute. So that's how you do it there. Now, for those of you that don't use Digzy AI, what you can actually do is if we go to Outlook, so I am on the uh, Mac version of Outlook. What I can do is I can actually go and go to my preferences. You can find your preferences also in, um, in Outlook for Windows. And what I can do is I can go to Signatures. And what I can do here is I can actually create another signature and let's call it Follow-up. So I'm gonna double click here and just go Follow-up and then I'm gonna delete this and go Hi just wanted to touch base as promised I had on the calendar today to follow up with you when is a good time for us to connect on the phone or in person to see if we can move forward and what I'm going to do is I, of course, need to include my business signature at the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll just do that. And now I am done. So here's, for example, what I'll do in this instance. Now I actually can use this as a template. So I can go here and I can generate an email. And that's my regular signature. But I can go here and actually go click follow up. And guess what? There I am. So I can actually just go, hi, let's say I'm emailing Nick. So I can say Nick at, there he is, I get Digzy, and then I can say, hi Nick, and then I can say, hi Nick. And I can make any modifications I want here, but I'm not gonna do that. And then I just simply mm. click send. So that's it, how you do it in Outlook. It works for Windows as well, but that's a neat little trick for you to use. Or if you're a Digzy AI, uh, if you're a Digzy AI subscriber, uh, you'll be able to do all this stuff. If you wanna explore more about Digzy, go ahead and click the link uh, for Digzy AI on the description below. Uh, but we hope that uh, this helps you out and helps, shows you how to be more efficient in following up with multiple people so that you can keep nurturing them and increase your sales.